Hey everyone, it's Tony with Hidden Light Photography, and today we're going to be talking about how to connect your ASI camera to Nina. Now the concept is going to be the same with other cameras, um, it's just going to be a driver difference. I use ASI, so we're going to be talking about that one. And if you're not familiar with this and you haven't seen my video on how to initially set up Nina or my introduction to software video, there, uh, please go ahead and watch those. There is a prerequisite, which is going to be ASCOM, and um, the introduction to, or how to set up Nina is uh, where I talk about how to install ASCOM. Now, the first thing we're going to do is open up a web browser, and we're going to go to google.com, and then we're going to type in ZWO. And you should see ZWO Astronomy Cameras pop up. If not, uh, just continue typing that until it pops up. And you're going to see astronomyimagingcamera.com. That's the one we want. And we're going to scroll down to software. And we're going to need these two drivers right here. Windows users must install a native driver to use ASI cameras. And then we're going to need to install the ASCOM driver so Nina can use the camera with ASCOM. Now, I already have these installed, so I'm not going to reinstall them. But what you're going to do is click download, and that should pop up a box depending on your um, system. It should pop up a box in the top right. It'll look something like this, and you'll see the camera driver downloading. Once it's done, it'll pop up with open file. You'll open the file. It may or may not ask you if you want to allow it to make changes to your device. If it does, click yes. Follow the installation wizard. Um, you can use all defaults. And that'll put the driver on your computer. And then you'll do the same thing with the ASCOM driver. You'll click download. It'll bring up the download box. You'll wait for ASCOM driver to finish downloading. Hit open file. Allow it to make changes if it asks. And then follow the install wizard to allow that driver to go on your computer. Once that's done, then we can open up Nina. We'll go to equipment, camera. And then what you'll see in here is that you'll have a list of drivers. The one we want is ASI Camera ASCOM. And one thing I want to show you is if you go to Settings and then you click Advanced, okay? And this is one thing that you want to pay attention to okay um your gain and everything can be adjusted that's not going to be horrible um in the introduction to software video you hear me talk about sharp cap and that'll recommend gain and exposure times offset though i would not recommend adjusting offset is uh, in a nutshell, a value that is placed to push your histogram right or keep it left. And it's very easy to clip. So leave it where it is defaulted. This is the 533 uh, camera, which my offset default is 70. Leave it there. Uh, on my 2600, the uh, default is 50. So I leave it there. So check that. Make sure you, you are where you need to be. And I'm going to show you exactly what I mean here because I've made this mistake. You'll click power. You'll see that it connected. And this is the RASCOM. Now we have access to our temperature controls. Okay. Um, Depending on the temperature and how the camera's handling it, I will run my temperature. I try to stay around zero degrees, but uh, I'm in Arizona. Summer gets very hot. I've had to use it at five degrees. Uh, I'm actually about to drop it to the um, ideal minus 10. But um, this is where all of your temperature controls are. All of this will automatically populate your sensor size, information about the camera, your sensor type or Bayer pattern if it's a one-shot color camera like this, 
your minimum maximum exposure times, your binning, your pixel size. Now, here's where it's important. Here's a mistake that I made is I was less than attentive. And um, during a Nina update, this actually went to three. I didn't notice it. My calibration frames didn't match and I had to throw out 36 hours of imaging and redo it. Always pay attention. Make it a habit to go through all of your stuff. Make sure everything matches. In this case, if you haven't caught it yet, default gain, 50. Well, in here, it should be 70. Now, why is that? Uh, this is the same profile that I used between my 2600 and 533. I should set up because if you notice there was two of them, it's not going to allow me because I'm connected right now, but um, there's two ASI camera ASCOM drivers. So I should set up one for each camera, um, but uh, just to give you an idea and show you, this should be 70. This is set to 50. Always make sure this matches. This is important. You don't want to clip your data. Um, and this right here pushes your histogram right or left and um, prevents it from clipping. It's just a value that's added. So make sure that that matches. Um, once you have your camera connected, let me get rid of three-point polar alignment, you can go in and snap a picture now it's daytime I'm inside so you're gonna see a black screen because the lens cap is on but you can set this to whatever you want you can allow it to loop um, looping comes in handy like if you're trying to dial in your focus um, you can have it loop, um, you know, you can enable sub subsampling, you can save it. So you can take your photo and just have it automatically saved to whichever file you have specified right here. And that's all that there really is as far as connecting your ASI camera to your, um, to your Nina application. Um, and uh, we'll go ahead and in the next uh, upcoming videos in the Nina series, we'll go through uh, how to connect your autofocuser and calibrate it, how to connect your rotator if you have one, uh, how to set up a sequence and everything like that. So uh, I hope that you found this useful. Uh, one thing I want to leave you on is um, when you're done, make sure you disconnect the camera. You don't ever want to just pull the plug or shut down the program. So just like a computer, you want to shut it down properly. Always make sure you disconnect. Uh, anyway, I hope you found that useful. Uh, if you did, you want more content, um, please like and subscribe. Again, please ask questions. Uh, I expect questions, so questions do not annoy me. So if you have questions, put you know, put a comment. You can email me hidden light inquiries at gmail.com. Uh, if you have any suggestions of videos, anything you want to learn, anything you want me to make a video of, please let me know. Email me, put a comment in there. Um, other than that, stay tuned for the next video. And until then, clear skies.